Kyoto and Shortland Street. Putting you through the surgery now. Are you manning the front desk and the flowers, man? Uh, it's a busy life of an entrepreneur, my dear. <laughs> Thanks. Nice package. Now oh, relax, I'm already taken. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, it's like Grand Central Station in here this morning. Someone's asking about flowers. Oh, um, look, um, would one of you be a darling and keep an ear up for the phone? Uh, won't be a sec. Sure. You're an angel. Word of advice, if you're planning on being old, try to be rich. We will bear that in mind. Feeling any better? Sorry? You still look a bit down in the dumps. Cool, Hey, Thank you for letting me know. Sorry. I'll take my foot out of my mouth and get walking. See you later. Don't. I'm okay. You just iced out a staff member. I'm thinking maybe you are not. Well, at least I'm not yelling at patients again. Mm, it's only a matter of time. So can you please steer clear of Cassie before she is transferred? Sorry, what was that? Is, is Cassie's being transferred? Yep, that's right. To Central. Well, she doesn't know anybody. Maybe that's better for her. How? They won't know what a treacherous little monster she is. I get that Maeve is hurting, but she cannot be talking about patients like that. She has to go, okay? Or uh, Maeve needs to get her act together. Do you really think that sending Cassie away is going to help her get better? She's being abandoned again. What am I supposed to do, Harper? We put our patients first. Look, Maeve is, is falling apart, okay? She's done nothing but show love for Cassie. She helped her look for her missing baby, only to find out that that baby was dead and buried the whole time. And probably by Cassie. I found her yelling at her yesterday. Yeah, well, that is outrageous. I'm sending her away for her own sake. And before you start yelling at her too? Well, maybe, yeah, but come on. I mean, wouldn't you rather we were, we were rid of Cassie and you never, ever had to see her again? Yeah, but I'm trying to be better. And usually, that means trying to be more like you. Drawing. I'm just doodling. Helps with anxiety. Are you feeling anxious? Sorry. That is a stupid question. <laughs> hey, um, I know that you've requested it, but I, I have my doubts. I don't know that Central is the right place for you. Doesn't matter. And you don't have to pretend you don't hate me. See, I don't hate you. You should. I'm scum. Hey, don't say that. Don't you even think that. Maeve thinks it. And that's what matters. She's suffered enough. Maeve is suffering. Yeah. But so are you. I should suffer after what I did. You don't even know you did anything. I don't remember stuff. Guess I'm blocking it out, or I blew a fuse from all the drugs, but my baby's dead. Dead and buried, and if I didn't do it, then who did? I'm really sorry everything's turned out like this. It's better for Maeve if I go. Better for everyone. Blank page, new start. Hey, about that transfer, there's a slight problem. Cassie's changed her mind. Central are being difficult. Let me guess, the staff don't want her. Well, hopefully we'll have it sorted by the end of the day. Thanks, Esther. We're just looking forward to moving forward, hey, honey? Yeah. I've, I've got to run. Yeah, I better go too. Um, my break is nearly over. Piss off the boss. Hey. You ever wanted to talk about anything? I do know what it's like to lose a baby. Uh, Knox wasn't even mine. Knox was your moko. And your link to Wilder. Yeah. It's like I've lost them all over again. And I'm so sorry. You know, it's been a year since Wilder. Yeah, I know. It's like it's been my whole life. Not losing a kid, their pain is forever. But so is the love. I just miss him so much, yes. You know what helped me probably more than I know was giving Paul to care a proper send off with the right words, songs you know, from the heart. You know, I maybe I could help you with something like that for Knox and Walder. Really, you do that? Of course. Thank you, truly. But I mean, you, you've already got so much on your plate. Yeah, I'm a mum too. And us mums have to stick together. Hi, Cassie. 
There's been a delay. I'm going tomorrow. It's not what you want, though, is it? I'm going, Maeve. You won't have to see me again. I'm sorry I yelled at you. You did every right. Um, <clears throat> we're going to be having a ceremony tomorrow. Like a special goodbye. For me? What? For Knox. For Wilder. Oh. Will you come? You don't want that. I know you loved Wilder. And he loved you. And I don't know, maybe you don't know what really happened to Knox. How he died. But you're still his mother, Cassie. And you always will be. And, um... Mums have to stick together. She's sleeping. Anything I can help you with? 